The Tara Calico case is one of the most intriguing and mysterious police cases ever recorded in the United States. Tara Calico disappeared on September 20, 1988, while riding her bicycle in Valencia County, New Mexico. She was only 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. Despite a massive search and numerous leads, Tara Calico was never found. Her case remains an unsolved mystery to this day. Background Tara Lee Calico was born on February 28, 1969, in Belen, New Mexico. She was the only child of her parents John and Patty Duell. Tara was a beautiful, intelligent, and ambitious young woman. She was a straight-A student and had a passion for photography. Tara dreamed of becoming a professional photographer and enrolled at the University of New Mexico to pursue her passion. However, on September 20, 1988, Tara Calico vanished without a trace. She left her home in Belen to go for a bike ride. Tara was an avid cyclist and would often ride her bike on the same route every day. She would usually ride along Highway 47 towards the Rio communities and then turn around and head back home. This was a routine that Tara had followed for months, and her parents were not concerned when she left that day. On that fateful day, Tara left home at around 9.30 a.m. She was wearing a white t-shirt, red shorts, and white sneakers. She also had a Walkman with her and was listening to music while riding her bike. Tara's mother later reported that she had seen a light-colored car following Tara as she rode along Highway 47. However, Tara did not seem to be aware of the car's presence and continued riding along the road. Disappearance Tara Calico's disappearance was first reported by her mother, Patty Duell when she failed to return home that evening. Patty reported Tara missing to the Valencia County Sheriff's Office. The police immediately launched a massive search for Tara. They searched the area where Tara had been riding her bike, but there was no sign of her or her bike. The police also questioned people who had seen Tara that day. Several witnesses reported seeing a light-colored pickup truck or van following Tara as she rode along Highway 47. However, the driver of the vehicle had not been identified, and there was no evidence to connect the vehicle to Tara's disappearance. Soon after Tara's disappearance, her family received a mysterious Polaroid photograph in their mailbox. The photograph showed a young woman and a young boy lying on a bed, their hands and mouths bound with duct tape. The woman in the photograph bore a striking resemblance to Tara. However, the identity of the boy in the photograph was unknown. The photograph was taken in a white van, and there was a toolbox in the background. The photograph was later released to the public in the hope that someone would recognize the people in the photograph and provide information about Tara's whereabouts. Investigation The investigation into Tara Calico's disappearance was one of the most extensive in New Mexico's history. The police received thousands of tips and leads, but none of them led to Tara's whereabouts. The Polaroid photograph was the most significant lead in the case, but the identity of the people in the photograph remained a mystery. The police conducted several searches and excavations in the area where Tara had disappeared. They searched abandoned buildings, mines, and wells, but there was no sign of Tara or her bike. The police also used cadaver dogs to search for Tara's remains, but they did not find anything. In 2008, a woman named Melinda Esquibel came forward claiming that she knew what had happened to Tara. Asqui Bell claimed that Tara had been kidnapped and taken to a house in Valencia County, where she was raped and murdered. Asqui Bell said that she had witnessed Tara's murder but had been too afraid to come. After several days of searching, a Polaroid photo was found in a parking lot in Florida. The photo showed a bound and gagged young woman who resembled Calico, alongside a young boy. Despite extensive efforts to identify and locate the individuals in the photo, they were never found. Years later, a woman claimed to have seen Calico in a convenience store in the small town of McAllister, New Mexico. The woman reported that Calico was accompanied by a man who was behaving aggressively towards her. However, this lead did not result in any new information or leads. In 2013, a possible break in the case occurred when a woman claimed to have seen Calico's remains partially buried in a remote area of Valencia County, New Mexico. However, the remains were not found, and the woman who made the claim later recanted her story. Despite numerous leads and investigations over the years, the disappearance of Tara Calico remains a mystery. The case continues to haunt her family and the small town of Belen, New Mexico. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, share, and like for more updates on mysteries.